in this video we will solve one problem on joint probability distribution okay and the problem is suppose x and y are independent random variables with the following respective distribution find the joint distribution of x and y also verify that covariance of x comma y is equal to 0 so the thing is in the problem they have given x y are independent random variables okay and also uh, you need to and they have given uh, distribution of x and distribution of y and we need to find out the joint distribution of x and y okay so in the previous video you have seen if they give joint distribution how to write distribution of x and distribution of y okay and in this problem they have given distribution of x and distribution of y and they are asking to write joint distribution of x and y okay and also second question is to verify whether covariance of x and y is zero or not okay and now well uh, in the problem they have given distribution of x distribution of y and to write the joint distribution okay joint distribution table you need j11 j12 j13 j21 j22 j23 okay and to calculate this they have given one condition if x and y are independent okay independent random variables then to find out j i j to find out these elements you have the formula f of x i into g of y j okay so now to find out j 1 1 that is taking i is equal to 1 j is equal to 1 you will get f of x 1 i 1 j 1 so you have f of x 1 into g of y 1 okay and in the distribution for x distribution table of x you have x values 1 and 2 that is x1 x2 and this is f of x1 and this is f of x2 okay and in distribution of y this value is y1 y2 y3 and this is g of y1 g of y2 g of y3 okay and now you substitute f of x1 and g of y1 that is 0 0.7 into 0 0.3 okay so when you multiply you will get so you will get 0 0.21 and now to calculate j12 j12 you need to choose i is equal to 1 j is equal to 2 okay so i is equal to 1 means f of x1 j is equal to 2 means here g of y2 okay so 0 0.7 you need to multiply with all the values of g of y to get j11 j12 j13 okay so first line you have observed 0 0.7 into 0 0.3 to get j11 so 0 0.7 into 0 0.5 will give you j12 okay so 0 0.7 into 0 0.2 will give you j13 so in the same way to find out j21 j22 j23 this 0 0.3 to be multiplied with all the values of g of i that's it okay so 0 0.3 into 0 0.3 will give you j21 0 0.3 into 0 0.5 will give you j22 0 0.3 into 0 0.2 will give you j23 okay now you write a joint distribution table so enter all the elements j11 12 13 j21 22 23 so after entering the elements you need to write sum of first row that is f of xi that is given in the distribution of x that is 0 0.7 just to cross verify that okay and now in the second row you need to get 0 0.3 okay so in the first column you need to get the addition as 0 0.3 this one and in the second column addition should be 0 0.5 and in the next column is addition of 0 point j13 and j23 will be 0 0.2 when you add last row last column you should get 1 okay 0 0.7 0 point plus 0 0.3 1 and here also last row if you the elements if you the elements of the last row if you add you need to get the sum as 1 okay and now we have written joint distribution table first question over and now we need to verify whether covariances 
covariance of x and y is 0 or not. And for that you write the formula for covariance of x and y that is e of x y minus e of x into e of y. Okay, so first you find out e of x and formula you already know summation x into f of x. So you need to use distribution of x. So 1 into 0 0.7 plus 2 into 0 0.3. Calculate to get 1.3. And e of y is summation y into g of y. That is minus 2 into 0 0.3 plus 5 into 0 0.5 plus 8 into 0 0.2 to get 3.5. And next you calculate e of x y. The formula is summation x i into y j j i j. So this you need to write by using joint distribution table. Okay. So when you choose i as 1, j as 1, first element is x1 into y1 into j11. Okay. So now you write the x uh, summation, I mean expansion of this. Uh, so the elements are 1 into minus 2 into 0 0.21, 1 into 5 into 0 0.35, 1 into plus 1 into 8 into 0 0.14. Okay. Now plus second row 2 into minus 2 into 0 0.09 plus 2 into 5 into 0 0.15 plus 2 into 8 into 0 0.06 so after adding I mean uh, after writing all the elements you need to simplify to get 4.55 okay now you substitute all these values in covariance of x and y to get the answer as 0. So, we have verified covariance of x and y as 0.